Welcome to introduction to Maya series. I am your instructor Rohan Page. In this video, we will learn the fundamentals of rigging. What will be our workflow? We will understand the set driven key, how it works. Basically, set driven key is useful to create a link between the attributes of one object and other object. Let's start with the session. With keyframe animation, you can key an attribute value to a time in the time slider. You repeat this process with different values at different times to animate the object. But when you need to animate multiple objects or attributes that interrelate, setting keyframes can quickly become a complex task. Now, setting driven keys is a technique for driving the animation of one object or attribute using another attribute. With driven keys, you create a dependent link between a pair of attributes. A change in the driver attribute then alters the value of the driven attribute. Once you establish this relationship between attributes, you don't need to animate the driven attribute separately. It occurs automatically as you animate the driver object. So let us see how we can create this relationship of driver and driven with a simple example. I'll just open an example. So over here I have this uh, object. I have a car, I have a toll booth. What I need to do is when when this car, let me just group the car attribute uh, objects and just send it to the payload. So when this car moves towards the booth, the door should get open and car shall pass this attribute. Uh, sorry, sh shall pass this toll booth. So let's create this example. How to work it out? So basically, over here we can uh, connect a link between the translation and rotation of these two objects. To do so, you need to go to animation module key and there we have an option called as set driven key. Choose this option set. It will open up a floating window of set driven key, the shortcut you can say SDK. Um, it have it has two different uh, windows that is driver and driven. <laughs> so basically driver will be controlling the attribute of driven object. Whenever you will make any kind of changes in the attribute of driver object, it is going to affect the linked attribute of driven object. So let us see how it works. You need to define in this example that which is the driver object. Our driver object is the car. So select the group of the car, click on this uh, option over here called as load driver. It is going to show you at the left side uh, the name of the object you have selected that is group 1 and at the right side of this uh, table you will get the attributes, keyable attributes of that selected object. Now I need to define the driven object. My driven object is this bar. So I'll just click on this load driven it will show me the selected object's name that is polycube 3 and at the right side I am getting the keyable attribute of that driven object. Now I need to define uh, the link of uh, two attributes between these two objects. So to check it out what you can do is first of all just freeze the transformations of the groups so that it will be easy for you while working. So just try moving it it is a z-axis translation which has to be linked with the rotation z of this bar or you can say gate right so how to connect it you just need to click on the driver 
I want to connect driver's translate Z attribute with gates rotate Z attribute. Key it. Now I'll close it. Uh, don't close it. Basically, you have keyed it, and you can see now the rotate Z attribute of the gate is shown or displayed in an orange color, which means it has got the link between uh, other object, right? So now I need to define how it is going to work. First of all, select the group, translate the car till the area where you want this gate. Uh, it should pass like this and then I'll rotate the gate like this right and then you need to key it so that computer will remember that this is the position where car will come and gate needs to be get rotated till this angle key it now the car should pass and this gate should come down to its rest position key it so i have given it two different types of keys a key where car will arrive at this place and gate will open when car will pla uh, pass through that gate the gate will come to its rest position and now see how it works right so you just need to move it gate is opening automatically you need not to animate it manually that gate you just need to animate the car right so let me just set the key So now you can see how it is affecting. If you want to make this animation a little bit slow, you can increase the number of keyframes and shift this key. Hold shift, left mouse button and just drag the keyframe and play it now. Right. So this is how you can create a relationship between the attribute of one object with the other. Now let us see how we can create uh, such kind of link with multiple objects and multiple attributes okay so let's take another example let's create another example so for example I'll just create a queue Just raise the transformations. Now, what I want to uh, do over here in this example, if I'll move this cube and the positive x-axis all my uh, these cubes are the vertical cubes should get rotated in the respective direction that is rotated y towards the direction of that cube right so they should rotate like this if my cube move towards this position they should rotate in this axis right so basically the, the, there are multiple objects over here we have and how we can connect the link between these two so let's start go to key set driven key set
select all other objects and load it as driven. Now you can see that while I was doing this, let me just repeat it for you again. Go to set driven key, set, select driver, load it. Now I have multiple objects over here. So I have selected all the objects where I want to create the link. Click on load driven. Now you can see I am getting the list of the driven object, but I am not able to see the keyable attributes. So just select all the attributes, uh, all the driven objects, and you will see the keyable attributes of those objects, right? So now I want to connect translate X with rotate Y attribute of all these objects. Key it. When I'll move this object till this area, all the driven object should rotate in that uh, direction. So I'll just use that rotate Y towards this direction. Key it. When the attribute, uh, sorry, this driver object moves towards other side, all the cube, vertical cube, shall rotate at this direction. Key it. Close. Select it. Now I'll just mention the value 0. Select it and now move. Now you can see that it is affecting the translation or attribute of my driver object is affecting the rotation attribute of multiple objects at a time. So this is one example of set driven key. Now let us see how we can use set driven key to link the tires of car with the movement of car. That means when car, it will, uh, car is moving, the tires should rotate accordingly. Right? So let us see that example. I have a car over here. I'll just use a default material. Okay. My car uh, tires are in combined mode, so I'll go to polygon. A modeling separate them and center the pivot I'll just require to connect these edges for further use okay now what I, I want to do over here is first of all to create such kind of example you need to select all the uh, parts of the car create a group center the pivot and rename this group as car I'll just scale it down I don't want such a huge scale over here Okay, now I want to create uh, this kind of link that when car moves in translate Z or minus translate Z, tire should rotate uh, according to that direction. Like if it is moving in positive Z, it should rotate in positive X and negative X. So how to create such a... Uh, how to create such kind of link between the car and the tire because over here we cannot just randomly go and connect the translate Z attribute with rotate X here we will require to uh, calculate the rotation of that car I am uh, sorry tire which means how much distance car will go and tire will complete its one rotation okay so for that purpose we can use one formula let me just uh, tell you that formula d is equal to 2 
pi r okay where r will be the radius of tire and you know that the value of pi pi is that is 2 into 3.14 into r right so basically this formula becomes d is equal to 6.28 into r right and what we need to do is we just need to find out the r that is radius of tire and multiply that with 6.28 and whatever answer you will get that will be the distance car should travel to complete the tires one rotation okay so let us see how it work now how to measure that tires radius first of all go to side view go to create menu there we have an option called as major tool distance tool click over here press 4 on your keyboard now i want to measure the distance from center click over here you will get one locator and click and hold the left mouse and drag that second locator to the end of tire and here you get the value of 1.33 forget about the whole value just take two digits after the point 1.33 that is the radius now just calculate it and apply it 6.28 into 1.33 equals to 8.35 that is the distance car should travel and then only tire will get a one ro one complete rotation so 8.35 now again uh, take that major tool recently used tool click at the end of this tire over here this is the rest position alt b to change uh, the background color if you want to 8.35 is the value what you can do is you can just simply leave this uh, locator over here then select this locator and use move tool to get that value 8.35 approximately I'm getting that approximate value 8.36 around it and now I'll change the background color alt B what I need to do is now I have the distance car should move till this locator and the tire should get one rotation complete rotation as we know that the, all the size of the tires for this car is same so I need not to check the radius of each and every tire if you have any other uh, vehicle which is having the different sizes of the tire then you will have to calculate the radius To create the link, I'll go to animation module, set driven key, set. Now driver will be our car group. Select the group, load driver. And driven is all the four tires. Load driven. Select all those tires so that you will get the keyable attributes of that uh, tires so the connection we need to create is between z axis of the group with x rotation right so just check it out whether it is positive x or, or negative positive x it is Connect cars translate C with rotate X key it. Now select the car group, move it till the locator.
and then select the tires and just mention the 360 degree value over here so it will complete one rotation key it now just check it out you can see the tires are getting rotated as soon as I am moving the car right but there is one problem when When, a, when this car passes beyond this locator then car tires are not getting rotated right so how to overcome this problem I want to uh, have these rotations throughout infinity range wherever my car should uh, car will move the tire should uh, get rotated till the infinity range now what to do about it just select car group and tires go to window animation editor graph editor press F so that you will be able to see the graph now I'll select all graph first of all make it linear go to curve make it linear tangent linear right so that there will be no slowing slow out in the animation of the tires right and now I want that rotation to be happened uh, throughout infinity range in post and pre uh, of that locator so go to curve I'll add pre infinity cycle with offset so it will add the rotations as soon as car will move in progress car will move progressively and post infinity cycle with offset so whether I'll move backward or forward it is going to add that rotation automatically let's check it out now you can move that car at any distance and the tires are getting rotated accordingly so basically calculating that distance is going to give you the perfect rotation right so in this way we can use this uh, set driven key so here I have connected the translate Z attribute with the rotation of my tires right so this is set driven key and the use of this set driven key is also there for uh, connecting the link between controllers and the joints which we will be uh, learning when we will have the bike belt rigging section so let us see what we have learned in this video what we learned in this video we have seen that set driven key allows to connect any keyable attribute of one object with multiple keyable attribute of multiple objects at a time. With driven keys, you can create a dependent link between a pair of attributes, a change in the driver attribute that will be altering the value of driven attribute. For any further query, you can follow me on Facebook. You can write me an email at rohan.pageanimator at gmail.com or else you can join my classroom or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.